chance to vlog about this too much. Um, we've just been having a lot of book stuff going on, a lot of drawing, a lot of client stuff. Uh, but uh, the Murphy Museum gave me a 1980 Jeep J10. It's going to be going back on Friday and it's already kind of Tuesday. So we're going to take the car out for a bit today and, and do a couple of things and, and kind of show you. It's it's really cool. But we are going to be swapping it for something even better. It's going to be cruise night on Friday up in Oxnard. I'm going to be driving something. I don't know what it is, but we got to go get some sandwich stuff right now. <laughs> the plant's attacking blood. No. He's finding out that he's not going with us. Jeep J10. What were you driving in 1980? Uh, a little red Honda. Oh, that's right. You had Honda a little Civic. A little Civic. Yeah. You loved that car. Yeah. Until you crashed it. Right. Yeah. And then you cr you crashed the um, the Volkswagen Bug before that, or was that like really far before that? Yeah. Yeah. She doesn't crash a lot of cars. No. Um, yeah. In fact, it wasn't my fault. That's right. It wasn't. Uh, and you've had some Corvettes. You never. You did have a Jeep. We had a Jeep for a long time. And you guys know that Jeep got crushed on PCH. Not our fault. Just a random thing. Wow, he was going fast. But you want a new Jeep, right? Yes. Yeah. Big red, bright red Jeep. Yeah. We've been counting. We've been counting Jeeps on PCH, and so far the most we've counted is nine in a day. That's pretty good. Just, but just think when I get it, yeah. we count that Jeep every day. If we can count our own Jeep as many times as we like. Yeah.
may be interesting. Uh, in about half an hour, we're going to be visited by a, a videographer or someone that is going to be shooting something uh, of Kathy today. And that's interesting because you may or may not know this, but Kathy built the dog Cujo for the movie way back in the, I don't know, 70s, 80s, long time ago. She and Bob built this dog for the movie. And a, a guy named Lee Gambin wrote a book about the making of Cujo. And now they're doing a DVD, kind of a new DVD for that movie. And they're coming over to interview Kathy. So they're gonna do that back at the Casa. So he's gonna be here anytime and I've been tasked to go down and get some cookies. There are worse things to do. Don't mind telling you that. Before we get to a little bit about the Jeep J10 uh, from the Murphy, a uh, quick book update. I want to show you guys a couple of sketches from two books that we have that are coming rather faster than I'd like them to come. One is for the, the, the city of Malibu. They saw the Malibu coloring book and they decided they want their own version and they wanted to include some sketches. Uh, they haven't seen these, you guys are gonna see them before they do. Some sketches of some of the parks that they have here and to incorporate that into their own specific Malibu book. This one is a Trancus Canyon Park, which you can see right there, that's the sign. And then you take this little road down into Trancus Canyon. If you've been down there, you'll see that there's a great place for doggies to play and there's a, uh, an area for kids to play. So that's one of the sketches that is going to be in that book. That's a 
you know, there's nothing funny than a dachshund running. This one is uh, a, an arts project, so it's basically a, an artist that is painting, but out of that is coming a bunch of musical notes. Uh, pretty cool up on the bluffs here in Malibu, kind of nice. Turned out pretty good. But the coup de grace, the one that everyone seems to be waiting for, chomping at the bit, is the vintage trailer coloring book, which I'm very excited about. Uh, we've announced to a lot of the vintage people that are going to the Buellton Vintage Trailer Show in September that the book is being completed and we just posted this on Instagram. This is a, a rather unique trailer setup. Uh, can't say I saw a, um, I've ever seen a Bugatti pulling a uh, vintage trailer, you know, in the, uh, in the Redwoods. Can't say I've seen that before. Thus, it's in the book, man. So having a lot of fun with those. Uh, I have about nine illustrations done with that one and the Malibu City book there's only two left so that's going to be done pretty quick. The next book uh, is going to be the Malibu City book although that's not going to be available online that's going to be um, just through them but the, the next book that you guys can buy is the vintage trailer book. But Kathy's working on sharks and she's going so freaking fast that like wow she's drawing like lightning so that's happening. Okay so let's talk a little bit about the uh, the Jeep J10 pickup truck. Um, uh, this is a uh, an unusual truck. Um, well, I can't say it's unusual. It's just uh, I haven't driven one of these in a very, very, very long time. Did I say very enough times? It's got a Dana manual four-wheel drive system. Uh, it's, you know, full-time. It's a four-speed. It's got, like, no power at all. I'm pretty sure this is the 285 cubic inch, uh, what, 100 and 115 horsepower. It's a 4.2 liter. Um, you know, it's, uh, they came up with a lot of motors at that time. Uh, there was a 360 cubic inch. It was pumping out a whopping 175 horse. I mean, spectacular numbers here, my friends. It was AMC doing all this stuff until uh, AMC was bought out by Chrysler in 1987, I think it was. But that gave AMC quite a run since they owned uh, that that company, uh, bought that from Kaiser uh, Jeep specifically in 1970. So they, they had been doing it for quite some time. It's a pretty potent motor and it's, um, got some uh, interesting things to it. Uh, the design language is pure Jeep, uh, very rugged. I, I like it. I, you know, here's some shots of the car, uh, of the truck, and uh, it's just, it's kind of fun to play with, but it is going to be going back on Friday. Uh, we're going to the Oxnard Cruise in, well, in Oxnard, I guess. There is something else that pulled up in, in front of the house. That, that I'll show you guys tomorrow on tomorrow's vlog. Okay, that's it. That's all I got for uh, uh, for today's vlog. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, be sure to join us on, on uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all those places. Pick up a coloring book because you know you want to. You know you want to color. And if you don't want to color, then you know somebody does. Might as well get them something early for Christmas. I'm not supposed to say that word, am I? I think there's someone peeing in my backyard. All right, people, that's it. See you later.